Hello guys, Pro of 2010 with you today, and today I'll be showing you how to create a little effect like this. Okay, so let's begin. Now you're going to need a sequence of images, and uh, here I've already made a folder with all my pictures in here, so I'm going to be using this. There's going to be 113 or 114 uh, pictures for my example. You might have a different amount of pictures, obviously, but this is the same method that applies to, uh, to everybody. We want to open up Sony Vegas, and you want to go to Tools, or Options, sorry, and then go to Preferences. Here you want to go to the Editing tab, and you want to scroll down here. It says, New Still Image Length in Seconds. Now, if you make 0 0.05, that's only create, it's only going to do one frame. Uh, the image is only going to last one frame. The default should be 5 seconds, so uh, this is how yours should look like. So 120 frames at this many seconds. So you would have five seconds per per picture. Now if you want to make that a frame, you would do a zero and then a zero five, and that's gonna make it one last one frame. So for every picture that you import into Sony Vegas, it's gonna make it only last for one frame. So you want to press OK. Yeah, you could go back and change that at any time, so you don't don't feel like this is gonna be a permanent change to your settings. So which what I want to do, let me just reset this marker. You want to go to file, you want to go to import, and you want to put in media. Now here file, files of type, you want to find uh, where it says t -t -t image sequence. Then you want to go to your folder where, where the images are located. So mine is called images, double click, and I'm going to import all of them. So you can control A all of them or just select all of them and press open. And they should appear in your project media section. Then you want to take all these images and then throw them in the timeline. And as you can see, they make little, little, uh, if you zoom out, it looks like it's all just one gray thing. But if you play this back, it's very fast. And all you have to do now is just re-render the image out, go to, f go, go to file, render as, and you want to render out the video. So let's say image sequence. And it shouldn't take it long to render. All right, it's finished. It closed out. Great. Let's view this uh, image sequence number two. As you can see, it just uh, lists through all of the pictures, uh, frame by frame. So each picture is a frame long, and it plays back the frames in the order that you put them in. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comment sections below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.